Then Isaac sowed in that land, and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. When God created man, he said, Be fruitful, and multiply. Gen 1:28. Part of his will for our lives is increase. His word says the path of the righteous shines more and more, Proverbs 4 verse 18. He also desires for us to prosper and be in good health, 3 John 1 verse 2. Our Father, God, desires to give us all things richly to enjoy, 1 Timothy 6 verse 17. We are to boldly believe and declare His promises for our financial increase and prosperity, in agreement with His word. Anchor scriptures, give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all it shall be measured to you again. I wisdom dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth for ever. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, when men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. Prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, I call forth your blessing into our lives. Your word says you will cause men to give into our bosom. Lord, we tithe, and are givers, so in the name of Jesus, men are giving unto our bosoms according to your word. The favor of God is mighty upon our lives. We are full of divine ideas, inspirations and witty inventions that bring us contracts, houses, cars, opportunities, and financial increase. We are constantly been paid huge sums of money for our work, creativity and even hobbies. Doors are opening unto us. Money comes to us easily and we are never without sufficient income and resources. We live stress-free, toil-free, debt-free lives. We enjoy God's abundance and provision every day of our lives. We are faith people and believe easily without struggles. We see results as we believe and act in faith. Ideas are flooding our hearts, and God is connecting us with the right sources to materialize our ideas. We are blessed to be a blessing. We instantly and constantly see results in our lives, and the unbelievers envy us, as they envied Isaac. We increase in the recession. When men are saying there is a casting down, we declare and experience a supernatural lifting up, in the name of Jesus. Declaration of Faith, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith. Saith the Lord of hosts, If I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. In the name of Jesus, every devourer in my life is rebuked, because I bring all my tithes into God's storehouse. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I come against every plan of the devil in my life. I decree that my fruits will not be destroyed, and the good things in my life shall not be aborted, in Jesus' name. Additional scriptures, declare the blessings of God over your life daily. Spend time meditating on the Word of God, and listening for God-given ideas. Journal ideas or impressions that come to mind, write the vision, prayerfully consider which of these ideas you can start working on. Determine what steps you need to take. Set attainable goals and plan on how to bring the vision to pass. Work your plan, with God all things are possible. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Our God is a merciful God. He is loving and forgiving. He assures us that when we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us, 1 John 1 verse 9. Do not be deceived into believing God will not forgive you. If you truly repent, he will forgive you. Therefore, 
Forgive yourself and come out of condemnation, because God sent his Son to the world not to condemn us, but to save us, John 3 verse 17, Anchor Scriptures. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Selah. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me, and I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. Father, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you that through the blood I have access to your throne room. I come now asking for the forgiveness of my sins. I believe your word that when I come unto you I will not be cast out. I ask that you forgive me for every way I have grieved your Holy Spirit. I humbly confess my sins and shortcomings. Mention any specifics that the Holy Spirit lays on your heart, and ask for forgiveness. I thank you because you are faithful and just to forgive me my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Thank you for pardoning all my iniquities. I live free and liberated, free from sin and condemnation. Thank you Jesus. Declaration of Faith, Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Christ has made me free, and I will not be entangled with sin again. In Jesus' name, I am free from bondage, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. I am God's elect, and I'm justified by God and the blood of His Son Jesus Christ. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Work was designed by our Heavenly Father, for us to engage with the earth He created for us, and for us to add value to it. It was never intended to be laborious and painful. Work was originally created to be enjoyed, and to be our service to our God. This is still what God intends, and we can live in His original plan and purpose. In addition, work was never intended to be our source, only God is our source. Our work is the assignment that God has given us at a point in time, and is a resource He is using to bless us, so we can bless others. It must not take God's place in our lives. Because God wants us to enjoy our work, He will give us gainful, enjoyable work if we believe Him for it. If you are currently unemployed, believe God for your daily bread, he never fails. I once was laid off and without a job for a couple of years, but never was there a day of lack, because I trusted God as my provider. He came through always, and met every need, and even tipped it off with some wants too. He is a good father. He will give you his peace as you await your next assignment. Don't be discouraged, he has the best in store for you, and is never late. Just fix your gaze on him and keep your hope in Him alive. He will always come through, only trust Him. Anchor Scriptures But He said to them, My Father never stops working, and so I work too. Let not your heart be troubled, ye believe in God, believe also in Me. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. A man's gift mocketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Prayers, in the name of Jesus, Father I thank you for your word regarding employment. I thank you because it is your will for me to be gainfully employed, to work with my hands that which is good and honorable, so I can be a blessing to those in need. Father, this is my desire. 
I pray for open doors that no man can shut. I pray for a work that I will enjoy, work that will give me the opportunity to be a witness for you. I pray that you will make a way where there seem to be no way, causing there to be job creations where there were no vacancies. In the name of Jesus, I pray that my skills and personality will be needed and sought after. I cover my resumes in the blood of Jesus, and pray that your favor will accompany every resume and application I send. I call forth my miracle job today, in the name of Jesus. My gifts, talents, personality, and disposition make room for me this day, in Jesus' name. I thank you, because I have asked according to your word, and therefore receive my petitions. As I seek a new assignment, I find one speedily to the glory of your name. As I knock on company doors, through my applications, interviews and other means, doors of favor and great job opportunities shall be opened unto me. Thank you faithful God, that when I ask anything in your name you will do it. I ask for a new job, give specifics on what kind of job, distance, hours, pay etc., and I thank you because I believe I receive my miracle job, in Jesus' name. Additional Scriptures Action Tips Spend this time developing a closer walk with God. Keep a schedule for meeting with Him daily. Volunteer your service, if you can. Check online and newspapers for training and other resources available to the unemployed. Seek and you shall find. Keep prayerfully looking and sending your resumes in. What can you do while you're waiting for your next assignment? Can you teach a foreign language? Can you fix computers? Can you write? Can you start a business? List your skills and let people know you are available to offer these services at a token, you'll be amazed at what doors will be open to you. Only chose something that will not drain money from you, beware of scams, and pray over everything you do. Be led by the Holy Spirit. A man's gift mocketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. Every one of us is blessed with a special talent or gift. And the giver expects us to use these for his glory, Matthew 25 verses 14 to 30. However, we often don't recognize these talents as our gifts and would sometimes overlook them, craving someone else's gifts and talents. Some do know and embrace their talents, but then are challenged with how to fully utilize these gifts to the glory of God, and not be distracted by the other demands of life. Finding fulfillment and purpose through your talent is possible. God will help us as we submit to Him, and seek to please Him first. Anchor Scriptures, as each of you has received a gift, a particular spiritual talent, a gracious divine endowment, employ it for one another as, befits, good trustees of God's many-sided grace, faithful stewards of the extremely diverse powers and gifts granted to Christians by unmerited favor. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Do not neglect the gift which is in you, that special inward endowment, which was directly imparted to you, by the Holy Spirit, by prophetic utterance when the elders laid their hands upon you, at your ordination. For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. Prayer I thank you for the gifts and talents you have placed in me. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to stir up my gifts and talents. I receive direction and divine inspiration in manifesting the gifts of God in me. I declare that my gifts and talents are blessing me and all those around me. According to your word, my gifts make room for me, and bring me before great men. My gifts are creating opportunities for me and I am divinely connected with the right people and resources, in the name of Jesus. Because every perfect gift is from you, I declare that my gifts and talents are perfect, in Jesus' name. I receive all I need to polish and make my gifts and talents exceptional. I thank you because you are providing the training, mentorship, connections, and whatever else I need for my gifts and talents to be excellent, and in demand. I thank you that my gifts from God are permanent, so I declare that any gift or talent I have overlooked, or made dormant, begins to be relevant and useful in my life. Doors are opening unto me to use my talents to bless mankind, in the name of Jesus. 
I amaze the world, as my talents are being unleashed, in the name of Jesus. Men are praising God as a result of my gifts and talents, in the name of Jesus. Declaration of Faith, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Father, I declare in the name of Jesus, that whatever I do with my talents will be for the glory of God. Additional scriptures, identify what you enjoy doing most, what comes natural to you. Consider how you can improve this gift. Start using your talent. You can exercise your gift through volunteer work, for example. Remember practice makes perfect. Be diligent in whatever doors the Lord opens for you, and do not despise the days of little beginnings. As you are diligent, the Lord will reward your faithfulness, and open even more doors. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53 5 He sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. It's a no-brainer that Jesus wants us whole and complete. He wants us to enjoy good health. The devil may bring deception through symptoms, which may be facts, but the truth of the word of God will overcome every symptom and make us triumph each time. What is this truth? The truth is that by his stripes we were healed. The truth is that he suffered so we would not have to. The truth is he wished that we be in health. The truth is that during his earthly ministry, he was always moved with compassion and healing all. What more, he has not changed. Dash, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Acts 10.38 We can go on and on finding these truths in his word. Our part is to believe him for the manifestation of our healing regardless of the symptoms or how we feel knowing he cannot lie, and cannot fail. So I invite you to, therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy. Hey guys, it's Brent. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like this video.